Unusual fumble recovery. Well, it looked like to me it was an exchange. Flanked by Will Davidson on the left and David Leakes on the right. Fullback is Robert Strait. Tailback is David Mim. The offensive left tackle. Let's see if J.J. Throws, the, throws it to Mike McKenzie to start the ball game. Here's the option play. He's going back. He's going to throw. He's going looking for McKenzie. Over to him. Mike McKenzie, the tight end, was the intended. Would not look great. Oh, oh, what we have in the Copper Bowl. Fake yeah. field guy. Yeah. All right, here we go. Second and ten. Baylor's the 31 of Colorado. J.J. Joe looks at a 4-5 four, four, man defensive front, gives the ball to no pitches, it back to Mims. He's to the 30, to the 25, to the 20, to the 15. He's still in his feet, knocked down to the 15-yard line, David Mims. Sit out to, to Mims at the last moment. He turned the 15-yard line. He averaged 8.2 a carry last week, and the Bears are going with the no huddle. They're at the line of scrimmage. Balance line. Straight gives a hand signal to the tailback Mims after getting his signal from J.J. Joe. Colorado jumping around a little bit on defense. Long count by J.J. Drops straight back, gives it on the draw play to Mims. Mims to the line of scrimmage, whirls out of one tackle and gets no further. Goes to the 15. That was sort of a poorly executed sprint. J.J. signals everybody back. Uh, Fred uh, Miller and uh, Craig Bellamy are the tackles. The tight end is McKenzie. Now they go out of that stack eye formation with McKenzie lined up behind the fullback. And it's a fumble of the ball, and J.J. Joe picks it up and goes forward for about three yards. He fumbled that snap, John, and there was the Bears really struggled in last week. Heard, and they need six. The ball is at the 11. They need the five-yard line for the first down. Out of the eye formation, straight to fullback. David Mims, the tailback. Straight gives Mims some sort of a hand signal. Otis, longer side. Otis is in the ball game at offensive left tackle. Bears come out of the huddle with a one-back set. That's Robert Straight, the lone setback. Here's J.J. dropping back. Throws the pass toward the end zone. It is called up by Bonner. Headed in the end zone, eight yards, their own 11 yard line. Well, that is a Robert Strait is the fullback. Or is he? Here's the ball given away to the fullback straight, dives forward for a couple of yards up to the 12 yard line. Now the Bears send two wide receivers. Bonner, Bonner's in the slot, Miller wide to the right. Tight end is in tight. Colorado shows a stretched five man defensive front, eye formation for the Bears. J.J. Joe, the quarterback, turns, gives it to, no, keeps it, pitches, no, keeps it himself. He's to the 15, slides forward to the 17-yard line. A couple of opportunities to give the ball away. It's good or better than anybody in the country at their position. Yeah, I think the head of Miami's group, so that's a good group coming in, the linebacking position. At the 17-yard line, Bader facing third down and three out of the eye formation. Colorado jumping around a little bit on defense. Now jumping the defensive right end in and out in that Bears radio network. KWTX, 1230 a.m., Waco. I'm Frank Fallon inviting you to listen for the Grant Taft Show weekdays at 7.30 a.m. and 5.10 p.m. on your station for Baylor University Sports. J.J. Joe, the quarterback. Robert Strait, the fullback. David Mims, the tailback. 7-3, Colorado. Here the ball. No, J.J. lost the pass over the middle. Complete to McKenzie. Boom, the fumble of the football. It's recovered by Colorado. And they can return that ball. They've got it at the 45, at the 50, at the 45, 40, 35, 30. Knocked out of bounds. And the pass is complete for the Colorado touchdown. Here in this uh, first... Ed, how you doing? I need some of that uh, 200 primer. A paint store can seem like a pretty intimidating place. The only red seed around the state. Down Colorado 5, Bader 1, total offense. Colorado 106, Bader 42 in the first quarter. Here's J.J. rolling out to the outside. Flips and falls back at the 40-yard line. Boy, he had one of those huge... You know, 41 for the first down. No huddle. That's the fullback, Robert Strait. Wide receivers. Bonner to the left side. Sims and Mims in the slot to the right. Reggie Miller out wide to the right. Colorado with a three-man down lineman. Two linebackers up tight. Long count. J.J. gives it to Strait, and he's knocked down right straight ahead. Caught straight ahead by Bruner. Spot. The uh, guards now are a third down, and goodness, about 18 yards to go for the first down. Credit to our broadcast crew, and that's J.J. Cox, who handles our locker room coordination. I forgot to mention J.J. a moment ago. All right, third and 19. Bader is only two out of 14 on the year for these conversions. Here's a swing pass down to the flat. Going in behind the tight end, Mike McKenzie. Apparently, they were trying to throw it the only times they over 12 minutes of the clock. Lewis is in now for Robert Strait, and Kendrick Bell is the tailback. Here's J.J. Joe back, fakes the draw play, looks downfield, fires his pass upfield, caught by McKenzie, who is hit tremendously hard after making the catch at the 25-yard line. Or did he make the A 6'3", 255-pound senior from San Antonio Holmes. And today made one reception and fumbled it, then had the uh, mouthpiece knocked out on that play by Bradford. Stacked eye formation with the tight end McKenzie lined up behind the fullback, Bradford Lewis. Lewis gets the call, goes straight ahead for maybe a couple of yards. 
up to the 22, 23 yard and what the ruling was. Okay, when a coach asks for a conference to debate a conference, then they go ahead and charge a delay a game on the uh, on the team that asked for the conference. There All right, go. very good. Thanks, J.J. Good work. J.J. Cox, our locker room coordinator. And that explanation on that penalty a moment ago. Here's J.J. Joe out to throw. Oh, his pass almost intercepted. Going for McKenzie again. And that pass was almost picked off in the flat. Taylor Golden Wave band him a tailback. And the fullback is now John Henry behind quarterback J.J. Joe. Made it at their own 20 yard line following that kickoff out of the end zone. Colorado, a three man front. Give the ball to the tailback Mims. Mims to the outside. Caught from behind. Dropped for a loss of a couple back at the 18 yard line. Is it a wide receiver spot? Chuck Pope is the center. David. Kenzie is, or Ronnie Donnie Lawrence is the tight end to the right side. Sack formation. John Henry, the fullback. Here's J.J. Joe back. Throws a pass upfield. It is going to be incomplete. Do it in front of Marvin Kelly's. And J.J. now is one out of eight for the left wrist. That is a, a wristband that has the plays. Right. That gets a lot of the glory, but he must also take a lot of the blame. J.J. is only five out of 19 for the year and has not converted his team on a single third down opportunity. He's 0 for 4 here this afternoon. J.J. rolling to the outside. is in trouble. Throws the pass. Who's it to? That's going to be a grounding call. There's nobody within the vicinity of that ball. There's a grounding call against J.J. He was going to be a ground. Wait a minute. The safety. They're going to say J.J. was caught for a safety ball, and it comes to town. Out of the huddle they come. J.J. Joe, the quarterback. Back to pass. Throws the pass over the middle. It is incomplete. Intending it for David Mims. Threw it a little bit too low. And J.J. No, and now Stewart is 15 out of 15 for Colorado. Okay, Frank. And in the conference record, that's every pass he's thrown. J.J. back to uh, give the ball to the draw play to tailback. Randell Jackson. So the fresh southeast, at the southeast winds at about 15 miles an hour. They expect over 20 minutes of the ball game. And it's been the Baylor defense that's had to be on the field in this 85 or 86 degree weather. Split backfield now. Brandell Jackson split left. Quarterback J.J. Joe puts Bonner in motion across the top of the backfield. Rolls to his left. Throws his pass out of the flat. It is almost picked off for a touchdown. Almost picked off by Chris Hudson. And leaves Michigan uh, seven to nothing as they play in the first quarter. Big game. Florida on top of Kentucky in the right. Robert straight the fullback. David Mims the tailback. Joe back on the fake draw play. Looking upfield in trouble. Now is hit and is knocked off. No, knocked off. Not off his feet. Throws the pass upfield and is beyond the reach of Reggie Miller. JJ against Louisiana Tech and this afternoon to have 25 and that came to struggle. Passing the ball four of 11 last week. And one out of uh, eight one or nine. One out of 11 today. Option left, takes it to straight, goes uh, to uh, Mims, goes upfield for maybe a couple of yards. He is hit and dropped by Colorado's Ron Wolf. One time led this ball game, three nothing. <laughs> Ten to nine, that is late in the second quarter. Double wide out to the left side of the field, Callies and McKenzie. Straight is the lone setback. Colorado jumping around a little bit with a three-man defensive front. And before the snap of the ball, there's a whistle. Bader caught, takes it, uh, takes it. I think they got the ball away before the 25-second uh, clock had expired. Well, one bright spot, Michael Johnson is here in the program today. Third down and 12 for Bader from their own 20-yard line. Wide receivers, two to the right. J.J., here comes backside pressure. Throws the ball upfield. It is caught for a touchdown. David Mims will go for six. David Mims will catch that pass coming out of the backfield, and it'll be a quick quarter on an 80-yard run. And swing pass up door uh, any time they've had the ball today. J.J. Joe, quarterback. Robert Strait is the fullback. David Mims is the tailback. Here's the option play down this line. Pitches it back to Mims. Mims at the 20-25 onto the 28-yard line. Nice option. I believe that's the same play. It'll be second down and a yard to go. Colorado, of course, as we pointed out several times during the first half, not having to worry about the field for nine minutes and 11 seconds in the first half. Melvin Bonner split out way wide to the left. Melvin has not caught a pass in today's ball game. Ball given to the fullback straight. He thuds ahead into the left side of the line. Gets the first down at the 30, and that's about all. Fred Miller is the offensive right tackle. Little tight ends with McKenzie being used as a man in motion out of the backfield. Here's the option play, giving it to the fullback straight. He goes in for about three. On up to the 30th half, he used up their three timeouts pretty quickly. Athletic director Emeriti for Baylor. And he and Dorothy enjoying the game from the press box down below. Here's J.J. Joe faking the option, looking for the long pass downfield. He's got a man there. It is caught, and it's going to be to the 20 to the 15. Oh, what a great play. Reggie Miller, I believe, was the receiver. 
Good fake by J.J. Joe in the backfield, the old uh, Harlem Globetrotter. First and ten at the Colorado 15-yard line, trying to cut into that 33-10 to 10 lead. Here's the ball given to straight left side. Throws his way forward for maybe a yard, the 260-pound fullback. Number three, number three. Number three, so nine yards. Here's the offensive line up out over the ball at the Colorado 15-yard line. Stack formation, three men behind the quarterback. Give the ball to quarterback J.J. Joe. He's got five yards. He's horse-collared down from behind. Hammered hard at the 12-yard line. Over making uh, behind it. Melvin Bonner, who's caught only one pass today. Straight in Mims behind quarterback J.J. Joe. Give the ball to the fullback. It's, it's uh, sin, or rather straight to the five-yard line. That should be enough for the first down. After measure. First down and goal from the five-yard line. Quarterback Marvin Callies. Uh, wide receiver Marvin Callies. Quarterback J.J. Joe out of the triple stack formation. Gives it to the fullback straight. He lunges straight ahead. Still fighting. Goes to the three. He's in for the end for the touchdown. Somehow squirmed out of there and gets it. 14 at halftime. That's in Dallas. The big one you talked about, number five, Michigan, and number three, Notre Dame. They're tied at seven as they play in the second quarter. Tenth-ranked Penn State leads Temple 16 to nothing at the half. Try to play catch up down by 19 here midway in the third quarter. J.J. Joe has Bradford Lewis at fullback and David Moons at tailback. Bonner goes in motion. Get the ball to the fullback, Bradford Lewis. Maybe three straight ahead. Stopped on the play by Greg Beekert, the linebacker. I don't believe Beekert's been in on the tackle. Player is uh, down for a moment. Going into that game, it seemed like... Uh, I'm rather Reggie Miller of the wide receivers. Bonner goes in motion across the top of the backfield. J.J., play-action pass, looking for Bonner. Looking for the big play. He has got it, caught it at the 40, 35, down to the 35. Melvin Bonner making only his third catch of the year. His third pass and run on the freeze option by quarterback J.J. Joe, 35-yard line. 42 yards on that pass and run from J.J. Joe to Melvin Bonner. Out of the stack eye, McKenzie comes in motion to the short side of the field. Give the ball to the fullback. That's Bradford Lewis. Lewis bangs his way forward. In fact, gets up and <laughs> crawls a few more yards after being down at the Colorado 34 and going to the fourth quarter, perhaps down by only 12. Colorado with a three-man, four-man defensive front. J.J. Joe, the quarterback, out of the stack eye formation where the tight end lines up right behind the fullback. And J.J. slips and falls as he tries to execute the option. I don't know what, uh, whether he was trying to fake the ball to his star. Two out of eight. They need this one badly. They need the Colorado tight end. will line up behind the fullback in that stack eye. Bader's going to call a timeout. Again, the Bears had to call a timeout. 73 yards total. A modest string, but a string nonetheless as the Bears come back to play third and nine from the Colorado 33-yard line. McKenzie in motion out of the backfield. Out of that stack eye. J.J. Joe throws the pass on the run. The pass is caught for a touchdown. Melvin Bonner. They were the Texas-Syracuse game yet? We'll check that out. That and here's Colorado. Or here's Baylor, rather. First down and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Chuck Pope will set the play in motion. Mike McKenzie goes in motion out of the backfield. J.J. gives it to his fullback straight. Nothing there. Hit and drop. Stopped by Leonard Renfro. Now we got to this point, 43. Trump point by 30, 33-30. Bonner split left. J.J. Joe back looking for Bonner. Fires it over the middle. Pass blocked and knocked away by Brown. It turned into a pretty big threat in this ball game, just as he did last year to the short side of the field, which is the near side. He gets single coverage. Boy, that quarterback is right up there on him, too. One-on-one. -on -one. Let's see what happens. Third and ten. J.J. back, looking. Fires his pass over the middle. It's incomplete. Reggie Miller. No, was that Miller? Callies. Yeah. Callies was the intended receiver. This might be it. Baylor not being able to move early in the fourth quarter when they were down. Work this Did you? Week, yeah. We couldn't decide last week if that's 4 or 5 a.m. Uh, oh. A complete statistical review of this game as well. But, uh, but full-time engineer. Right, Craig? Craig, you wake back here, aren't you? Atta boy. Here's the play. A pass up field, which is incomplete. Scored in the very first play from scrimmage when they threw that pass to McKenzie, and he was wide open. Their own 30, moving from right to left. They're centering the ball game now for the Bears. Give you that in a moment. Maybe some other new linemen as well. Here's J.J. Joe in golf. Swarmed under by Leonard Renfro, the big defensive tackle. And when I say big, I don't mean that. It's by Turner now for the Bears. Here comes some more of that music. Let's listen, Craig. Some 
others, the offensive linemen in the ball game. Tell you about those in a moment. Other new faces. McKenzie in motion. Play action pass. Uh oh, look out. JJ in trouble. Scrambling with the ball. He's at the 30 and sandwiched at the 32 yard line. We have motion. Since. Uh, Coming out of the eye formation, they need to make it from the three-yard line. Quarterback J.J. Joe drops, throws the pass toward the end zone where it is no good, incomplete. In it for Bonner, he was shielded off the ball by Colorado's option, gives it to the fullback, in for the two straight. Robert Strait sends in for the two point 32, or 32 points in this game, but that pales. J.J. Joe, the quarterback. Steve John Henry is the fullback. And J.J. on the keeper, get breaks out of there. He's got the 30, 35, gets the block, 40. And out of bounds, he goes to the 45-yard line. Chased out of bounds to the near side of the field by in the play of 22 yards for J.J. Joe. Boy, we've had a lot of offense. Bears got it down to 12. Colorado has opened up again to 25. J.J., oh, look out. Oh, that may hurt. That may hurt him. He was hit full on. I mean to tell you, that was a blind side hit by Brian Diet, the defensive tackle that way at Diet. Find him here. He's 6'6, 260. Goes okay. back to 1914. Predates you, Frank. That's the last time a team has scored that much against Baylor in this stadium. Draw play. Ball given away to the tailback. That is Kendrick Bell. He gets up to the fifth midf to the midfield strike. Seven points. So that's the record, in other words, for a visiting team. Okay. We don't want to mess with that. No, no. JJ Joe. Long count. McKenzie in motion. Option pitches it back to Bell, 50, 45, 40, down the near sidelines, out of bounds at about the 36 yard. Will Davidson is in his left guard. The center is still John McKenzie. John Henry, the fullback. Here's the option, J.J. Joe's sacked. He's right almost at the line of scrimmage. Hit down by Greg Jones, the uh, in Colorado, 526 yards in offense. <laughs> well, they get a little giddy behind me here. I'll pass this on to you. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. I, I wouldn't read it, and they didn't really thought you might. <laughs> All right, there's the uh, play carried down to the 35 opportunity coming up. We're down at about eight. <laughs> Not nearly that much now, but at game time, about 33,000 would be my guess. J.J. Joe on the delay to Kendrick Bell. Bell inside the 35 to the 31-yard line. X right now. Marvin Callies is one of the wide receivers. Henry, the two setbacks. Downey Lawrence, the tight end to the left. McKenzie, the tight end to the right. Double tight end. Here's J.J. Joe back. Wants to throw. Has some time. Lost it toward the end zone. Got a man there. It is. Touchdown! Reggie Miller. Combined catch from Reggie Miller. 57-38 to lose this ball game, John. I would have been very, very uh, yeah, surprised. And that's the truth. One for two. Before the snap of the ball, the two lines get together. Colorado was 526 yards total offense. Baylor has 300 and John Turner, Will Davidson, Craig Bellamy, the offensive line. Here's J.J. Joe throwing for the two-pointer. It's bouncing up in the air. It's incomplete. Intended for Melvin Bonner. Bounced up incomplete. And